if you're in Atlanta or any bigger city, you can go anywhere on any night and see great players and great musicians. And around here, there are a lot of good players, but they rarely have the opportunity to get together. And that's what we like to do out here at Outlaw. And I think we'll do more of it. We had a really good time a couple weeks ago. We had probably four or five guys out from around South Georgia. Steve was in all the way from New Jersey and it was just really a di diverse group of guys. But the thing is, is everybody here really loved drums. Uh, different playing abilities, different playing styles. But man, it was just fun because nobody cared. Just, we were playing drums. We had two kits set up, had some uh, Boston butts on the smoker, you know, just hanging out. It was a lot of fun. And we really don't get to do that around here uh, very much. It's not a place to do that. Um, I know for me, I love to go to, to Nashville, the porch drum. The Gallup Green. You see the one with the hole in it? How cool that is? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I guess this is the light. That's Yeehaw Yellow. I thought about trying to maybe cut it. I like when it's really cool. It's probably just the lighting, but that, that one pops. Yeah, it Stands does. out. I think all the colors look really good. I made a huge, huge mistake. I started building this sun dip drum without getting any money, without getting any deposit. Um, I used some specific colors that he wanted just to try to make it a design that's kind of fit, fitting um, almost like a chocolate mocha kind of, kind of vibe with some just splashes of some red and some greens. And it's just, it turned out amazing. But the only problem is, there's no money in the act. So now I've got a snare drum that I have to find to do something with. about these sun dips is not only the outside but the inside looks just as cool um, literally dip this whole thing it's a solid maple segmented drum shell when I dipped it I was very kind of anxious to see the color patterns because um, you just don't know how it's gonna turn out and you don't have a clue but I think it really turned out good so yeah hey if you want this drum let me know because the guy that I was making it for what lesson well learned. Okay, so what about putting black on that one right there? I think it looked really good, especially with the darkest spots on that one. What you think, Michael? Yeah. I think it's really going to set it off. This, to me, is going to be my favorite out of all of them. You want to take that one to Nam? Just because of the color. I mean, I think that's phenomenal. Man. You think we should take that to Nam? Um... I think it's a really pretty drum for a maple with the dark pieces in it. Dan, you need that drum in your life. No, I don't need a drum. I need to make drums. Yeah, so 
You know that song, Run, Run, Rudolph? Santa's right. gonna make it on time? Right. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Need to cut these down to size. So just get them down to six and a half. We work all weekend. How many days you work this week? Every day, every day, every day. <laughs> Eight inch. So we can go ahead and finish up the uh, Musician's Friends. How many is that? Um, musician's Friends total is 28. definitely got to know how to work a table saw when you're cutting these right here because if you don't hold that drum just right one tweak to the left or the right it's going to make a gouge that you'll have to sand out more later um so yeah very precise there there <laughs> so my good friend ed stopped by today um to investigate my wood pile is a really good friend of mine. We actually used to ride bikes together. And not to mention, he chauffeured me around because I'm totally out of gas. And, um... He was walking down the hall to the highway. <laughs> <laughs> and he gave me a ride, so I'm definitely paying him in wood. That's how we roll around here in the outlaw compound. That's right. <laughs> Ed's a master woodworker. I'm watching professionals here. It's the worst time of the week. Fill up about once a week. I hate getting gas. I just despise it. I have to go and sit and not do nothing for, you know, five minutes and it just drives me up the wall. We do a lot of bartering. Hey, there's another piece of, um, look at that piece of cedar right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I'll take these three. How much are you for these three? No, nah, you're good, man. You don't owe me nothing. You drove me around today, man. Oh, shit. You chauffeured me around. I get Uber, get paid in the <laughs> Look at this fancy truck, man. So I had to run to the store and get some washers. I ran completely out when we was putting the musicians' friends stuff together. Um, they was just, I had five washers. I needed six. Ed just showed up just in time, which worked out just right because I was out of gas again. And he chauffeured me around town. We almost ran into a gigantic candy cane. So me and Ed have a lot of things in common. We love wood. We love Matt Hoffman. We love hard hats. And we're going to start having it mandatory that all the guys in the shop start wearing hard hats that have a safety color on the outside of it. Just in case something falls from the rafters. They need to make a service with somebody. Just go to your house and fill your truck for you. Boom, right there. We just did that. It's a million dollars. I'm telling you, just have like a big tanker that just drive around. And when, when you get uh, low, just... I pay, I pay an extra $15, $20 for that. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about the headache, getting out, man. Your truck, man. It up with a button. All right, Ed. Appreciate you coming by, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have we'll a great see time you. out long. You too, man. See ya. I'm gonna do one more coat and I think that would be it. It brought back out the colors again, you know what I mean? I'm glad we decided to spray it one more time. It definitely needs another coat. I think it just kind of helped bring out the colors mm -hmm. again. And Good, man. All right. Good. Nice to meet you. This is my wife, Gwen. Gwen, nice to meet you. My little brother, Malik. Malik, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Just, you can park right over there if you want to. Okay. Cool. Y